Denny Hawkins tells us what they know about these uh, shootings. She's live in Boise. Yeah, Brent, well, bald eagles aren't necessarily rare here in Idaho. We're lucky enough to be able to see them in Boise. And actually, when you're out on the green belt, it's not uncommon for people to bring their binoculars with them so they can get a glimpse at these rare birds in some of the trees. Fish and game officials say they're devastated to see that somebody decided to use these protected animals as target practice. Idaho Fish and Game says two bald eagles were found dead late last week along the shore of Brownlee Reservoir near Steck Park. Now that's west of Weezer in a relatively remote area. Veterinarians say the gunshots were from a high-powered rifle. And there's no reason for uh, this senseless killing. Now Fish and Game is trying to figure out who is responsible for a crime they consider very serious. The wildlife of the state is precious to all of us here in Idaho. Like I said, they are a national symbol, so there's absolutely no reason for somebody using them for target practice. If caught, the person or people responsible could face upwards of $100,000 in fines and other punishments determined fit by a judge. The group is hoping that somebody knows something about this crime and will come forward with some information. The group Citizens Against Poaching is offering a reward for anyone who can help provide them with helpful information. Denny, what kind of information are they looking for? Anything specific? Natalie, at this point, Fish and Game still really doesn't know much. They're looking for anything, really. We do know that these birds were found late last week, but we don't even know when they were actually shot. Fish and Game just hoping that somebody will come forward with any sort of information to do the right thing. Live in Boise, Denny Hawkins, KBOI 2 News. Well, 